If you are looking for the very best plug and play tactics for Football Manager 2023, you have come to the right place. Maybe you're short of time or you just want a change in tactical style. Here on the channel, I will test the tactics so you don't have to. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at a positive 4132. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the 4132 Re Positive Poira 14. Now, as it says on the tin, it's a 4132 that does have some pretty specific positions. So let's break those down for you now. Starting at the back, you're going to need a sweeper keeper who is set to defend. On the left, you're going to have a wing back who is set on to support. You're going to have a ball playing defender who is set to cover. You can have another ball playing defender, but this one's set to defend. On the right hand side, you're going to have a wing back who is set to support. In the middle of the park, you're going to have a defensive midfielder that is set to defend. On the left hand side, you're going to have an inside forward set to support. In the middle, an attacking midfielder set to attack. On the right hand side, an inside forward set to support. And at the top of the pitch, you're going to have an advance forward on the left and another one on the right. Both of those are set to attack. So as I said, it's a 4-1-3-2 tactic. It's set up in a positive mentality. Tactical style is the assembler. Looking at the in possession, it looks like this. The in transition will look like this. The out of possession will look like this. So that is today's tactic. I've put it through its paces with Aston Villa, Villarreal and Sampdoria. We're going to kick the results off in the Premier League and we're going to look at Aston Villa's season. You can see that they have managed to finish fifth place. That qualifies them for the Europa League. If we break down their 38 game season, you can see that they won 21 games. They drew nine. They lost eight. They scored 86 goals. Conceded 45. That gives them a 41 goal difference and they amassed 72 points. Now, as you can see, that put them firmly in the hunt for a Champions League place. They finished five points behind Manchester United, although they were 30 points behind Manchester City. If we go to the overview page and the profile of the Premier League, you can see Ollie Watkins got himself 24 goals. For average ratings, Ollie Watkins again was the best for Villa with 7.26. In terms of the assists, Buendia got 12. For Player of the Match awards, Ollie Watkins finished joint fourth with six. In the clean sheets department, let's have a little look at where Martinez was. He was in eighth with 10 clean sheets. For yellow cards, Luca Dean with 16. So maybe your wing backs are going to be susceptible to yellow cards and disciplinary issues. Uh, we have John McGinn with distance covered per 90 minutes at 16.36 kilometers. Tackles per 90 minutes, Luca Dean with 3.29. And then dribbles per 90 minutes. They don't have anybody on that list. So a fantastic start to their test as they've managed to get themselves up in fifth in the Europa League. If we go back and look at the competitions tab, you can see they were also knocked out in the fourth round by Tottenham Hotspur in the FA Cup. And they were knocked out in the semi-final by Tottenham Hotspur in the Carabao Cup. So it seems Tottenham are Aston Villa's bogey team when running this formation. So a fifth place to start off. Let's move on to the next team. The next team that we are going to look at is Villarreal and we can see that in La Liga they have performed impressively too. They have gone on to finish third and they have qualified for next season's Champions League. If we have a look at their 38 game season then we can see that they won 26 games. They drew two. They did lose 10. But they scored 101 goals which was the most in the league. They did concede 49 goals. They had a 52 goal difference and they amassed 80 points, only finishing one behind Barcelona, although they did finish a massive 22 points behind league winners Real Madrid. If we go to the profile page of the league, we can see that we had Moreno on 18 goals, Morales on 18 goals, Dan Juma got a 7.35 average rating, Moreno 7.34, Chukwesi got 14 assists. For player of the match awards, Chukwesi got 5 and was joint third place. 
in the clean sheets we can see that Ruli got 11 clean sheets for yellow cards we have Pedraza with 12 distance covered per 90 minutes we have Etienne Kapue with 14.53 and John Johan Mojica with 14.41 dribbles per 90 minutes once again, they didn't have anybody in that category, so not a big one for dribbling going forwards. If we look at the competitions tab for them. We can see they have had a successful season. They did finish runner-up in the Copa del Rey. Let's have a little look at that. So they did get hammered 5-1 in the final, but they still made it there. And even more impressively, they got to the Europa Conference League final and they won it. They beat Fiorentina 3-0 in the final. So we have had Villarreal in third place in the league, Europa Conference League winners and Copa del Rey runners up. The final team of the tactic test is Sampdoria over in Italy and we can see that they haven't performed very well with this tactic at all. They have finished 13th in the league. If we break down their 38 game season they only won 11 games. They drew 7, they lost 20. They scored 57 goals, they did concede 82. They had a minus 25 goal difference and only finished on 40 points. Just to put it into context, that is 22 points behind Roma for the Conference League place and it is 25 points behind Juventus for a Europa League place and they finished massive 54 points off of league winners Inter Milan. If we go and look at the profile page, we have to look in all of the sections. So Gabby Adini was their top goal scorer with 13. And Qualiarella got 12 down at the bottom. Not bad for a 40-year-old. For their average ratings, they didn't have a single player in that category. In the assists department, they had Leris with 8 assists. For player of the match awards, they didn't have anybody in that category. Clean sheets, I bet there's not a lot here. Goalkeeper is not even in the list. Uh, yellow cards, luckily not a big issue of discipline for Sampdoria. Distance covered per 90 minutes, there with 14.18. For tackles per 90 minutes, they have Leris with 3.12 and Orgello with 3.12 also. And in dribbles per 90 minutes, they have Orgello with 4.12. So going back to the competitions tab and looking at the rest of the competitions, they were knocked out in the first round of the Coppa Italia Coca-Cola by Genoa. And as I said, it was a disappointing finish to the tactic test for Sampdoria, 13th place. So we have had two teams really that have exceeded expectations and one team that really struggled to live up to the hype with the tactic. So I think overall it's a positive tactic, but Sampdoria really didn't like playing in that system. Right then, if you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button to help the channel out, I really would appreciate it. Watching the channel grow across the past couple of weeks has been absolutely fantastic. It's all down to people like yourself who are watching this video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are Let's Plays, Rebuilds, other tactic tests. There are Wonder Kids, hints, tips and tutorials. A little something for everybody on the channel. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it there. Big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video soon.